Well, hello, everybody, and good evening. Welcome to our new graduate student orientation. We're glad that you could join, in a, join us as we begin our spring 2021 semester. Um, we're excited that you can be online with us. This is typically not how we hold our orientation, but considering the circumstances, uh, we're just happy to be able to be with all of y'all, uh, even if it is through this uh, new online medium uh, that we're using. Uh, this evening, we have several activities planned for you. Uh, we're going to begin shortly with our welcome, and then we have some other sessions that you can uh, join in off of our orientation website uh, later on this evening. Uh, my name is Latisi Bazan, and I am one of the directors here in the College of Graduate Studies. I will be monitoring the chat sessions um, and answering any questions that might come online. So feel free to uh, send them my way, and uh, I'll try to get through all of them as best as I can before we end um, are welcome. So at this time, I would like to get um, our session started with our official welcome from our graduate of our College of Graduate Studies Dean, Dr. Karen Michaela. Um, and she is joining us uh, tonight. And I will go ahead and uh, mute myself and let her begin whenever she's ready. Thank you, Leticia. Welcome everyone and good afternoon. I'm Dr. Karen McCaleb and I have the privilege of serving as Dean of the College of Graduate Studies. Welcome to our beautiful Island University and to graduate school. Although it looks like we have several online MBA students in the mix and you may not be in Corpus Christi and able to see our uh, beautiful campus, please know you are always welcome. Orientation is one of my favorite university events, and we have a lot of events here, and I love orientation. And the reason is it's a time to, to meet you, even though this is a little bit different, it's virtual, but it, it is a time for us to connect and to um, encourage you to connect with others and provide you the navigational tools to successfully progress through your program of study. This orientation, although it's virtual, is no less special and no less important. As leaders, we often demonstrate our situational agility. We do this on a daily basis, especially this past year. And one of the ways includes in changing the way we engage while still continuing to achieve our goals and move forward. Despite a very challenging year, you applied and you were accepted into your graduate program. That itself is a noteworthy uh, achievement. Not everyone applies and those that do apply are not always accepted. Pursuing and attaining a graduate degree means being a leader. According to recent statistics, only about 9% of the US population holds a master's degree and only a very small percentage, about 3%, ever attain the doctoral degree. The reason, or one of the reasons, is because graduate school is not easy. Being a graduate student is not easy. Pursuing an advanced degree requires commitment, time, energy, effort, finances. This pursuit affects you, but it also affects your family, your friends, downtime, your work, I could go on. And you might wonder, well, is a graduate degree worth it? Absolutely, absolutely. Ask anyone with a graduate degree. In efforts to help you balance the many demands of graduate school and be successful, our university offers a variety of services designed to support your needs and questions. You'll learn about our Grow Suite, a, a suite designated only for graduate students a little bit later on in our program. And you'll learn about many of our campus supports at the resource fair tomorrow. So please make sure you go. 
Our goal is to help you be successful in both the academic and non-academic aspects associated with graduate school. I know that some days there are just not enough minutes in the day to accomplish all that we want. And now you're adding grad school to your day. The good news is that each one of us have 1,440 minutes each and every day, and we get to choose how we use those minutes. I encourage you to use your minutes well. What you put into your program is what you'll get out of it. I know you've heard that before, and you've heard it before because it's absolutely true. If you need assistance with your academics, professional writing, time management, stress, mental health issues, and I could go on, reach out. We have the resources here through the university to support you, and you'll learn about many of them at our resource fair tomorrow. If this happens throughout the semester and you find a barrier and you do not know who to contact, contact me. Contact the College of Graduate Studies. We'll point you in the right direction. That's our, our job, and we want to see you be successful. Your success is ultimately up to you. I want you to use your 1440, 1440 minutes to not only become an expert in your discipline, but also to broaden your personal and professional networks and connections. And finally, and most importantly, remember to take the time within your daily 1440 to take care of yourself. Be kind to yourself, give yourself downtime, and enjoy this experience. Graduate school can be life-changing. Make the most of each and every minute. I wish you all a successful spring semester. And always feel free to come by, socially distanced, or set up a WebEx with me, or email me or one of uh, my team members in the College of Graduate Studies, because we are here from you from this day until you cross the stage. So I hope you enjoy our welcome week. I hope you will be involved. And make sure you reach out to your faculty. They're looking forward to getting to know you. Have a great semester, everyone. Thank you, Dr. McCaleb. So as Dr. McCaleb was talking, I wrote down some notes, some things that I do want to go back and refer to regarding what's taking place the next few days before we move on to our next presentation. Um, we have several activities going on. You can see them off of our orientation website. Uh, beginning tomorrow, we have the start of our program chats. So as Dr. McCaleb was saying, that your faculty is eager to meet you. They are very eager to meet you. Visit our orientation site. You'll see when your program coordinators are having their meetings. Uh, they begin tomorrow and run through January 27th. But for some reason, if you don't see your program listed, contact your uh, program coordinator. Uh, they are more than likely reaching out to you one on one, um, but they all want to talk to you before the start of the semester. So reach out to them or they'll be reaching out to you, but you can find the schedule for our program coordinator chats uh, online on our website. And I'll post that in uh, the chat session in just a little bit. Tomorrow also, we have our resource fair. So many of the academic programs on our campus, our services, will be hosting virtual uh, tables to give out resource information about their services. We encourage you to stop by. Uh, it begins tomorrow at 4.30. Uh, we have some live web, web chats where you can answer, uh, ask some questions and they will help answer your questions, uh, places where you can download 
flyers and information on how to get involved, how to get uh, services from everything from career services to your spe specific librarian uh, for your uh, graduate program. We'll have all of that information available in our uh, resource fair tomorrow. Additionally, uh, with tonight's program, we want to encourage you to stay on all the way to the very end. Uh, we are having a drawing for our uh, $500 stipends uh, for our programs. We'll be announcing the winners at the conclusion of our uh, Welcome to CGS session, our uh, at compliance and advising uh, presentation. Uh, we'll announce the winners there. Uh, for those, we have several uh, prizes that we're going to give out. And then we also want to encourage you uh, to take the time to complete the evaluation for our program that we'll be sending out later on uh, this evening to let us know how we did. Uh, as I said at the very beginning, this is a very uh, different format than what uh, we do, and we always want to hear back on how it worked out for each of you. Uh, additionally, uh, been monitoring the chat. We're glad that we have so many people from around uh, the state of Texas, as well as out of state, and also additionally here from the Coastal Bend area. Um, we have a wide variety of students from many different programs uh, joining us tonight. And so that's what makes our college, our university, uh, so great is that we have such a wide array of students from different backgrounds, different programs, different undergrad that they're able to bring into their graduate programs, and it all makes us better. And so we're happy that you can join us. Uh, we're going to move forward in our program, and I see our next presenter has joined on. I'll give her just a second to get going. I'll let her give her give me a thumbs up when she's ready to go. Oh, she's good. Um, and so to continue on in our welcome, uh, we are happy to bring with you our provost and uh, vice president of academic affairs, Dr. Clorinda Phillips, to provide our university welcome. Good evening, Dr. Phillips. Good evening and greeting Islanders. I am here to join with the chorus of folks that have already welcomed you to the Island University. Many of you are, are probably current Islanders, whether that's because you're alumni or your employees, but I am so excited that you have chosen this time to invest in you. Pursuing a graduate degree is an investment in you so that you can not only improve yourself, but you can improve your families, your communities, and yes, the United States. If nothing else, we know that we need folks who are educated and trained to meet the challenges of today and tomorrow. So I wanna congratulate you on making this step, for making this commitment, and I look forward to learning about all that you do while you are with us in your graduate programs. Let me also just take a moment to say, you are already achievers. You have already demonstrated that you can learn. Only 35% of the people in the United States have a bachelor's degree. Only 7% of the world's population has a bachelor's degree. So that you already have a bachelor's degree and you're on your way to earning a graduate degree, means that you can learn, you have learned, and you are achievers. So as you set forth on this graduate um, school journey on your, in your graduate degrees, let me encourage you to always stop and ask for assistance when you need it. You will have challenges. Those challenges may be a professor that you don't particularly click with. Your challenge may be that you don't really want to write that 20 page paper. Or your challenge may be that you're having difficulty balancing family, work, and your graduate studies. 
but we're here for you. You can overcome those challenges. You know this, you've done it before. So you just need to do it again and know that you're not doing it alone. You have a whole Islander network here, standing ready to provide you with the assistance you need to get to the end of your graduate program. So remember, go all in, give it all you got, holler when you need some help, and know that we will show up for you. Again, I want to applaud you for taking this step, for investing in you. As you know, when we get to the other side of this pandemic, when the economy starts to stabilize a bit, this time that you are spending right now will pay off. And so I, I, I celebrate this day with you, but I also look forward to celebrating with you when you cross the stage. I'll be there cheering you on. I'll probably be crying, but it's because your another one of your dreams will have come true, which means another one of my dreams has come true. I'm excited that you're here. Let us know how we can help and go Islanders. Woohoo! I'm yet, I'm done. I'm tapping out. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Phillips. We're glad that you could join us and provide such great encouraging words. Um, they always mean a lot to us. And so thank you very much for joining us this evening. Bye. Well, at this time, uh, that concludes our welcome portion um, of our graduate orientation. Uh, I'm going to stay on, uh, continue to talk to those of y'all that um, have put some questions into uh, the chat. Um, for those of y'all that are ready to hop off into our next presentation, uh, that will begin at six o'clock. Um, and that is our presentation on our graduate resource and opportunities workspace, or what we lovingly call GROW, uh, which is on the second floor of the library. We're going to talk about um, our services and everything we offer uh, through GROW. So uh, please feel free to join us there. I will put that link online uh, where you can uh, simply uh, click on it and we will uh, begin shortly uh, with that session. But I will stay on this session a little bit longer, help answer any questions you might have, um, and we'll be seeing you uh, shortly. So again, thank you and welcome, for, welcome to Texas A&M University Corpus Christi and thanks for joining us tonight.